Liverpool's John Conte, surely one of the finest British boxers ever to step foot in the ring. Here's Conte making the second defence of his WBC World Light Heavyweight title against the formidable Mexican Yaki Lopez in Denmark. Conte had captured British, Commonwealth and European honours before going on to be crowned world champion in 1974. Lopez had 31 wins on his resume and nothing to lose in this fight. And Conte obviously hoping to shake a lot of that ring rust out now, but in tremendous condition. 12 stone, six and a quarter pounds. Lopez, 12 stone, five. Lopez in training has shown that he flicks this left hand out. And Lopez trying to keep the champion at bay with it. So it's up to Conti to duck and dive and get inside the punches. And remember when you're scoring that the blow should be delivered with the knuckle part of the glove onto the target areas. So blows around the sides and arms do not really count. Lopez never been knocked out or stopped in 35 fights. And Conti obviously got to find that punch timing, but he hasn't used that right hand yet. He's saving that a bit. Feeling punch with the right hand, a short one. He's been practicing that in the gymnasium, I notice. Doesn't put the knockout punch into every right hand shot, but hurts with them. Sensible reconnaissance first round then for the world champion. Needs to box himself into shape, as they say in the professional game, and to get his distance. quite know the punch strength of Lopez yet he stopped 17 opponents as we come up then for the countdown for the first round and the first solid punch I would have thought coming from Conti with that left hook Round three, and a rather weak bell here, so if there's a flurry of punches and the crowd are roaring, uh, we're going to have trouble hearing that. For the uninitiated, a World Championship scheduled for 15 rounds. Intelligent boxing, seems to me, by both champion and challenger. Not expanding too much in energy, both trying to pave their way in and seek the openings. And I like the way they're standing almost toe to toe. The amateurs tend to dart around the ring and get too much daylight between them. This is the unquestionable match of the day and night because you can't top a world uh, championship. And with no first division soccer on the box tonight, I wouldn't be surprised to see Jimmy Hill walking in here.
as close as I am to the ringside here. Honestly, you can almost hear their brains working. Lopez's didn't work too well there because he caught that left hook. And obviously that's the way that Condi hoped to win. He's, he's improved that left hand considerably since he had to nurse the right hand punch. And they're really starting to warm up now in this round. Both putting their punches together a bit faster and a bit harder. Well, Lopez takes a good punch. I think we're soon going to find out. And they're saying in Conte's corner to keep it cool. This is the pattern that they were hoping for as we come up on the countdown now to the end of the third round. And it's looking good for Conte, and we'll be back in a minute. So round five, sort of quarter mile stage here. And obviously not too much in it. If you're going to score on the quality of punch, then Conte is just ahead. This challenger keeps prodding away with that left hand, and no doubt the German referee's taking good uh, sight of that. But the game here is really to catch the opponent's eye and that of the referee and judges, if you can help it. The judges come from France and Italy. Well, that uh, right hand punch of Lopez has lost its impact there by the time it caught Conti on the face. A bit too long. down in my mind at all that the Mexican-American can ship a bit of punishment all right he's used to the rough rides he did predict this on world of sport today so this is going to be a tough fight either way and at least hoping to maintain his record of not being stopped No question about it, Conti limiting the use of that right hand. When he lets it go, he wants it to really count. Doesn't want to waste it or catch Lopez on the top of the head and cause any further damage. Had to have a bone graft to harden that right hand up. And this is the first time that he's had the eight ounce gloves on in 14 months. That's the way to pave it now. That's the way that Conti's got to keep using that left hand to open up Lopez. They're working up now, both of them, to a better punch rhythm. As the countdown comes on the last 10 there for the fifth round. And John Conti well on top of the bell at the fifth. And we'll be back in a minute. So welcome back then for round eight. Past the halfway stage now in the light heavyweight championship of the world. A little bit of hesitancy in John Conti's boxing tonight. And he certainly picked no mug as a challenger here. This fellow rose from obscurity there in Stockton, California, where he and the rest of his seconds of corner played bit parts in John Houston's film Fat City to get himself up to the world number two spot. The 
number one goes to Victor Galindez, who's claiming the rival WBA championship. Well, I think Conti will have to open up and mix it with Lopez now. wonder if Conti really misses the British crowd to drive him on as he used to have at Wembley and a switch to southpaw there by Lopez he might have confused himself a bit more than he did Conti we don't often see that with a top grade fighter that means of course that they turn right hand and right foot forward it's an American baseball uh, expression Conti allowing the pace to drop a bit here. I'm wondering at the end of this round if Kenny Buchanan agrees with that. He picked that right hand punch well. Doesn't seem to have any trouble with the hand there. So with a minute to go in round eight, Conti realizing that he's got to double up his punches a bit. champion showed Lopez that punch didn't he almost sent a telegram with it but Lopez got the message he can't put his head in the way so the last 10 then of round eight Welcome back then for round 10. And in the home straight, as it were, we're wondering how Conti's going to get on now because it's shown a little bit too much hesitancy for my part. And if they're both saving themselves for the run in, that's going to be quite a fight. keeping well out of the picture there surprisingly I think not saying anything to them to spur them on a bit often British referees will be quietly urging them on Lopez trying to match uh, Conti for the left jab and often succeeding there. Not too much of a hard hitter, I would have thought Lopez in this world class. And his record doesn't show that, but he's, he's fought a few tough nuts in his time. And the last man that he defeated, uh, Jesse Burnett, is very well feared in American rings. really is left for left there isn't it that's uh, English taught boxing there good amateur stuff that he learned up at Kirby Club at Liverpool what a great amateur John Conti was and the pity he didn't box in the Olympic Games but he of course won the Commonwealth gold medal at Edinburgh Conti riding that long right hand from the back of the hall and it does close up but he's being urged by his family here at ringside by the corner Conti to really whip that left 
hook in. If he's saving the right, he's got to work with the left hand more. I'm assured by the seconds in the corner that Conti does have no trouble with the right hand. He's not complaining at all. But he's certainly favouring it. So we come up now for round 11 with Lopez just having a, a little cut, a nick in the left eyebrow there. The American seconds were using the adrenaline pad in the corner there just to staunch the blood. It's very little. of course experienced over the 15 round course and Lopez is not he's only traveled to 12 rounds for the Californian state title Conti fought Chris Finnegan in one of their two fights lasted 15 and Jorge Hamada went to 15 and a Commonwealth Championship against baby boy Rolly a bit of fire missing isn't there with John Conti and it must be a worry certainly for him and also for the people around him his brother Tony who's taking over more or less the managerial ranges around the ringside but a good start there now when he jabs away with that left hand Conti he can't miss Lopez Lopez got a cut above the left eye there. I didn't see any clash of heads causing that. A lot of Conte's opponents do get cut. Lonnie Bennett did, Chris Finnegan did in a fight. But Lopez had apparently been cut in fights before in the corner of taking care of it. But it's obviously a handicap. It certainly doesn't help. It doesn't look too bad an injury, I must say. That's pulling on a bit there, Conti, with the left hand. The referee, as Ken Buchanan said, taking no notice. To the end of the 11th round. The referee Drews from Germany there, making sure that both boxers are aware that the handshakes procedure has got to go through in the last round. They're just touch gloves, no doubt, and that's about all they'll get. Almost like the pleasantries that a dentist offers you before he puts you in the chair. So it's the 15th round. And after the decision, hopefully we'll get a quick word with Conti on how he feels about this performance. Win, lose or draw, as they say. But of course, Conti's punches have been cleaner. More of them, more on target but it's far from the runaway win that people expected, isn't it? Conti here saying we want to get in there with him certainly Victor Galindez was a bit naughty before the fight really uh, 
giving Conti a touch of the verbals. Still some power left in that Conti right hand. He's taken a few more chances with it in the last round. Look at that doubling up with the left hand. This is, this is as good as I've seen Bo Conti box for a long time. This is the sort of stuff that won him junior and amateur senior titles. So with one minute to go in this light heavyweight championship of the world from Copenhagen. Conti a little bit puffed around the face, but always seeking to pile those points up. I'm going to sort the mathematics out at the end of this one. Of course, it happens to be a knockdown to near the bell here. The bell would, in fact, interrupt the count. And certainly, Conti now has left it too late for a spectacular knockout. And he's got to hope that the referee and judges have seen the fight the same as everybody else, and that includes you. Good close-up the champion. John Conti. So that's it. John Conti retains his World Light Heavyweight Championship. So a highly technical fight, and it could have gone either way, I think you'll agree. As for Conti, he defended his title once more before being stripped for failing to meet his mandatory challenger, and it was a hard luck story for Lopez from here on in. He fought for the crown four more times without success, but what a marvellous operator he was too. Thanks very much for watching. Classic memories of John Conti. We hope you've enjoyed them. See you again for more here soon on BT Sport.